In this review video, we're going to look at sine and cosine transformations. So you spend a lot of time looking at the unit circle, which is the individual values of sine and cosine, but you can find pretty much any angle you can find a sine and cosine value. just must be um, some weird decimal, but you can still put it all together to create the sine and cosine functions. And if we graph them, we get these waves, right? these infinite waves that keep going forever after this to the left and to the right. Uh, but how can we tell which one is which? So you should know their waves. How can I tell which one is which? I look at what happens at zero. So one of them hits the origin at zero, zero. The other one hits its point zero, one. And we know from our unit circle, if I put in zero, going straight to the right of my unit circle, sine is zero, cosine is one. The blue one is cosine, the red one is sine. So kind of, cosine kind of starts at the top value and goes down from there. Sine starts in the middle and goes up. And how are we going to graph these transformations? Right, we have two main types. Right, we have this number at the back. Just like all our other transformations, this moves our graph up and down. And this multiplication at the front, we don't really talk about much with other types of functions. But with sine and cosine, this is the amplitude. So if I go to graph, the first thing I'm going to do is put this 1. That becomes the midline. I right, move my graph up from 0 to 1. All right, then I can graph my normal sine function. So this is just sine of x plus 1. But then this 2 here is the amplitude. This is going to make the waves too high instead of one high. I remove the old stuff. All right, this is my final graph. So I moved up one, a new midline, waves of height two. All right, this one, I'm going to move my midline down to negative two because of this negative two here. I'm gonna have my normal cosine graph, which again starts above the midline and then comes down. And this negative sign means my amplitude is a negative one. It's just gonna flip them in the opposite direction. Removing the original one, this is my final graph. So it's gonna start at the bottom here and have my cosine graph. And one more, same thing. Two is the midline, sine, make the heights three, and the negative flips them. All right, so my final graph looks like this. I moved it up, and I have sine going the opposite direction because of that negative sine. All right, but those are our first two types of, types of transformations we looked at with sine and cosine.